Um, and so I um, posted about 10 black women creators that I just kind of enjoy uh, following, um, bartenders, wine professionals, chefs, whatever else. And then this most recent one um, was about black men because that is something as a black man, um, I don't I don't know that those stories get out as often as I, I would have liked or that that, uh, that I hope to see. And so I had this I had this uh, experience uh, near where I work in LA and uh, it's just like as soon as it happened, the instance that it happened, I was like, I'm this this deserves a post. And I was getting lunch in this little neighborhood near where I work and um, looking for a place to, to eat and this woman and it's white Mercedes, uh, the white lady, white Mercedes locked her door as I approached and we're in LA and LA is one of the most diverse cities in the, in the world. Um, and I just felt it's, it was such a heavy sound. It was just like, it was all I heard for a split second. And like, I guess I got wrapped up in that experience and I started to think about all the other people who in the, in the country or in the world or whatever, who was having, who may have, may have been having that same experience at the exact same time. Um, it's a, it's a familiar sound. It's a familiar experience for black men because we are seen to be dangerous and scary and intimidating, et cetera. Um, but I know lots of black men who are not that. And so I wanted to lift those people up who I've had either a connection, a conversation, um, admiration for, and so that's why I wrote that. I um, I got a lot of great feedback from the, all those posts um, because I think it's the, just the way that I write about a thing um, f makes it feel a bit more immediate for people um, just because it's like, it's, it's more story-based. You are definitely I love writing a storyteller. Them. Um, well, thank you, you. Had, I appreciate that. You had some, you had, and you didn't just focus on wine professionals, because I, I know that's your real passion. You did not just concentrate on cocktail makers or chefs. It was like all the people in the culinary space. And um, can you like talk about some of a few of those people and why you selected them? Sure. So um, there's a guy actually, I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to meet him for a glass of wine later on today. Uh, his um, at is Poppy Petnat. And he's just a, a, a wine enthusiast like I am. I featured him in my first Full Belly Blackness post last year. And he's just got this kind energy that I, um, he's just super curious, very nice, generous with his time. Uh, we've we've traded DMs just like, just, hey, how are you doing? He checks in, are you doing well? It's he's just a nice person. And there are people who I just wanna lift up nice people. He's great at, at wine, of course but he's a nice person first. Um, there is Rosetta Stone, who I think is uh, remarkable. Um, Lawrence Dunlap. Um, these aren't people with like huge followings. It doesn't matter. It, like, it, That's what I just... really liked about it because it wasn't like when you did this, when you did this uh, post, it wasn't like there were the Kwame's of the world or Marcus Samuelson. These were people that people weren't familiar with. I saw a bunch of names and I'm like, who are these people? And I started clicking on all the names and it just opened a whole new world for me. And I started contacting some of these guys because I'm like, oh, I'd love to talk to you and you and you because these guys, and they had such immense style and we haven't even yeah. gotten to the fashion. Girl. So yes. talk about like, so what was it in fierce. I mean, the fashions, right? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's absurd. All of it is absurd. But I, I, I thank you. First of all, thank you for saying that, and thank you for reaching out to them and connecting with them because that—that's what that is all about. Mm -hmm. I think it's important. Um, there's enough room on Instagram and in the world and wine and food, whatever. There's enough room for success for everybody. Like, there's no reason why people cannot access success just for any reason. And so, um, my goal is not to share people to get me followers. I'm trying to share people who I think are doing really cool things. I wanna, mm -hmm. like, people like being noticed. And, and if they're out in the world doing some things and, you know, every now and then it's nice to like, send a DM and say, you do great stuff. I just want you to know, I don't have any sort of agenda. I love what you're doing. I just wanted you to know. That means a lot to people, no matter who you are. Um, so, these, this isn't a post that I plan and say, is it okay to, and blah, blah, blah. I just write it. And as it comes out, I know who I want to focus on. I make the list and all their ads and I write. And it is not about anything but lifting up other people because it's like, 
that's what I need in my life right now is I need to be lifted up and I want to be lifting up other people because we're all like in this boat together. Mm. Um, so why not do it? Um, so I hope that people like it. Uh, it seems like people do and I'll continue doing it uh, because it's important to me.